Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's BJD Dollfam, and today we have ourselves an iconic <laughs> unboxing for you. So uh, let's just cut to the chase and get right into it, shall we? All right, so welcome back everybody. It's BJD Dollfam. Like I said in the beginning, we have ourselves an unboxing. As you can see, this is a very large box here. And as you would guess, it is a doll. I know it's been a while and my birthday is coming up in the next couple of weeks. So I went ahead and purchased myself an early birthday present. So we're gonna go ahead and get this open and get this unboxed. I've actually been paying on this for a while now. Um, this doll is actually very, very special because it is a limited edition Volks doll. As I was saying, this is a limited edition Volks doll. And this actually only gets released, I believe, once a year, this line. And it's like a one-off, so it's not like something you can find in the store all the time. You can actually really only get these after the um, Dalpa events, which is the doll party, Vol doll party events. Um, there's two different... Um, events there's one in the united states one in japan and they normally do a lottery for these because that's how limited they are so the special thing that i want to get into this doll actually isn't from this year's line this is from 2021 so this is older um, but i did find a reseller for a very good price in the dolphy discord that i belong to i'm so 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 appreciative this is actually one of um, my few grail dolls that I've been looking for so I'm so glad to have her added to my collection now So without further ado, let's go ahead and get you guys the first peek So since this is a second hand um, It's not gonna look as Presentable as you can see it's a, a clear Situation here. Let me put this down. Let me jump and I'll get the box out. So I've gone ahead and got the box out. So the original seller did try to keep this as original as possible. The only unfortunate thing is that um, I do not have her original wig, but they did provide me with a wig that was a very similar style and cut. So I do need to preface that when I open this. So it's not 100% to factory, but that's fine. There's also apparently some flaws and some modifications that were disclosed but that's fine because um, it doesn't actually have an effect on the overall appearance or the effect. It should all still be the same. So let's go ahead and get her unpacked here. I'm so excited. Put that over there. Um, the cool thing, as you can see already, about this set, or this doll specifically, is that she comes in a clear a crystal Volks box, which they don't actually do this for a lot of their dolls, except for maybe the bodies, because I did order a Mochiashi body that came in a pink um, clear case, not like a completely clear like this one is. But anyway, as you can see, you got the first look. So far, she's stunning. I love this. Let's go ahead and take her out. Go ahead and take her out. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take out her clothes, put them aside, and then take the doll out. So I do need to say the other special thing about these dolls, um, they are a little bit pricier. Like I said, they are one-off, so they tend to be a little bit more expensive, but the icons, as you could see from the front, I'll take it back again. So it's a Dolphy, Dolphy icon. Um, the cool thing about these dolls, is that it's kind of like the medium between getting a complete vinyl Dolphy Dream and then getting a resin Super Dolphy. Um, and what I mean by that is that it is a vinyl doll, so it is like a regular Dolphy Dream. Everything on it is vinyl. The only difference is that the head sculpt is similar to a Super Dolphy, which is one of the semi-real resin models that Volks puts out. The other cool thing is that this doll does come as basically a full set. So here is the replacement wig for her, which is fine. And what I mean by it comes as a full set 
is that it does come with pretty much an entire outfit with interchangeable parts, usually being, um, for this set specifically, there's a pair of pants that you can put on or a skirt option underneath the jacket and um, the un like over the underclothes and under the jacket and stuff. There's like pants or there's a skirt. I think the top, like a undershirt it comes with or like a underwear set and it has shoes and accessories and necklaces. Like it comes with everything that you need for a full complete experience. So put that over there. Oh, I'm so nervous. Oh, I'm so nervous. I'll go ahead and take her out of her box. She's wrapped gorgeous and beautifully. So here's the doll. I'll put her to the side. And the other thing I will grab out of here just to show. So another thing that they do for icons, they only do this for icons. As I said before, this was over to the side. It's the certificate of authenticity. And you can see this is from September of 2021. Uh, it's kind of like their little birth certificate and there's some information on how to care for them in the back and let's go ahead i'm going to pause the video so i can go ahead and get her unpacked sorry for the doll nudity so one thing i do want to do i'm going to cover her up as you can see this is her face up so this is like a semi-real sculpt very similar to the super dolphy the face up paint is done in a similar fashion and i don't know if you can tell the other special thing and it's only for the icons in all of their skin tones so this is petal which is the lightest skin tone then there is tawny which is like a really dark tan there's lilac which is a purple and then there is clover which is mint those are the four skin tones that are available and they all come with their own little pearlescent glow. You can't really see it much on camera and I'm trying to get it. You can kind of see the shine, like the shimmer, but like when it hits certain lights, it's like purple and blue. Like it's actually really, really pretty um, to see in person. They're very, very stunning, but I'm covering up the doll nudity just to show off the face up a little bit. And now I'm going to go pause the video one more time. I'm going to get her dressed and then I'll do a full review. All right, I am back. I finally got her dressed. This is what she looks like in her outfit. Um, I stunning. Um, all of the icons are very, very stunning. Um, I chose the pants option for her. There is a skirt, like I said, so there is kind of some interchangeability um, I will say the pants are not very beginner friendly um, I don't like the way that they attach but I do like the whole outfit together um, you know there's the functional zipper um, that has two little zips that goes up and down the front there's two hidden zippers on the side so these flaps open up for more movability if I wanted to I could zip the whole thing um, to make it just like a long trench coat dress um, I also like the fact that this jacket, um, I don't know if it translates very well, but like there's the strip of like the pleather here and the rest of it is more like a, um, I want to say a canvas. It's a very thick kind of fabric. So I do feel like over time, whereas the, the whole jacket was that pleather material, um, Volks has a tendency of having this pleather material on some of their dolls, like uh, Miku, for example. And that pleather just deteriorates over time. It starts cracking and peeling, and it just doesn't work out. Um, so I'm glad that it's just kind of to the one part of the jacket and not the whole thing. Um, the shoes are leather shoes. They have little Velcro um, straps here to open up to put the foot on, which is awesome. Like I said, her wig that I have on her right now, um, this is from Cotton Doll. It's not even her original wig, but it is a very similar color and a very similar style, which she came with like a Hime cut where it has like the short bangs here. Um, the bangs with like the short side piece, sideburns, whatever you want to call it. And then the full length in the back and there's a braid included on the side, which I think is really cute. Um, another thing to note with these dolls that are different than most other 
Volks um, Dolphy Dream style dolls. They actually come with lashes like the resin dolls. So they have additional extended lashes. They're not just painted details on. Um, and specific to this year of the Icon doll, the special body modification is that they came with the pierced ears. Um, so they had they came with their own earrings. They are pierced, so they just kind of slot in and out. But I'm not going to do anything to change or modify that because I like the way that it looks on its own. Um, so prior years of the icons, they did fantasy themed once. So they came with like elf ears. Um, I believe in 2020 because they started in 2019. So 2019 was. Um, body piercings, so they had like belly button piercings for the first year. I believe the next year they had the uh, tattoos. I think they were tattoos. And then 2021, which is this one. Am I thinking that right? I think I may have my dates off, but I know one of them was the body piercing. One of them was the fantasy ears. Another one was body tattoos. Um, and then they have this one, which was the earrings. And then for 2022, which was the one that came out this past summer for the United States and literally just happened in, I believe, January of this year, 2023, for Japan. Um, the body had matching joints because these didn't have um, matching joints. I don't know, again, it doesn't really translate well on camera. But this is like a standard Dolphy Dream, I think the DD3 frame for this. So it's not pearlescent like the rest of the vinyl. It's not really noticeable on Sarah, which is the petal skin, which again is like the lightest skin. I believe she's lighter than flesh tone. And let me, I'm just gonna grab my mini Dolphy Dream Bliss real quick. Um, yeah, so she is in flesh tone and you can see that there is a difference, but I don't think she's full on white skin. I do believe she's darker than white, a little bit darker than semi-white, but lighter than the flesh tone as you can see here. But the pearlescent glow, I need to mention the pearlescent glow, like you can't see it very well on camera, but when the light hits it a certain way, like the, she has like a purple, like a pink and purple pearlescent shine on her skin. It's very, very pretty. Um, and again, it does not do justice on camera. If you have an opportunity to see an icon in person, I absolutely recommend doing so because they are just stunning dolls. And like I said, this was one that um, I didn't particularly have a favorite of which icon that I wanted. I just knew that I wanted to get one because I fell in love with the sculpt. I love the, the face up. It's very different and unique for Volks um, in the aspect of they don't do this on their vinyls. As far as the style and the aesthetic, they only do this on really the resin dolls. So the fact that they were able to translate that into a vinyl is amazing and it's something that I'm absolutely loving to add to my collection. But um, outside of that, I'm not going to do any kind of articulation because this is an older, like I said, I think it's the DD3. If it's not, the D yeah, I think it's DD3, uh, not the F3, which is the current frame. I think this is DD3, which has a really good range of motion. I have no worries about it. It's very similar to my Dolphy Dream Sister Anatomy. So if you go back to my videos in the past, you'll see it's a very similar articulation to that. So there's nothing really new or invigorating here. Um, so I'm going to just skip that and just give my first impressions and my thoughts, which, you know, absolutely stunning doll, absolutely recommend. I know this is an older release and they don't happen. This was a unicorn find, really, um, to get her in the condition that she's in. And I'm just so thankful and so grateful to have her to add to my collection. So with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe if you have not already. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye.